Hello there, once again this is Max and I've got another bass patch for you guys. Today we're moving away from dubstep into the genre of electro house. This patch will be quite easy to program, but satisfyingly nasty. For your convenience, I've already prepared some note material in a little loop, so we can jump right into it. We'll start off with a blank thaw, and as always the first step will be setting up the oscillators. The first one will be an analog sawtooth at octave 2. Oscillator 2 will be a noise oscillator, set up to generate pure white noise. We won't be feeding this oscillator to the filters. Instead, we'll use it for something called amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation sounds complex, but it's really not that hard to break down. First up is amplitude. That means volume. A synthesizer's fundamental tone generator is the oscillator, and when we turn up the volume, what we're actually doing is turning up the amplitude of the oscillator. That's quite simple, right? Now modulation is just a fancy way of saying changing. When you modulate something, you're changing it. And what you use to change it determines what we call the type of modulation. So amplitude modulation means we're changing the oscillator's volume. And to accomplish this, we simply route the signal of another oscillator back into the first one. Don't worry, I'll show you how. I'll move the AM from oscillator 2 slider up to a position of about 38 to inject some noise into the sound. The only things left to do for the thaw are to open up the filter, or maybe even deactivate it completely to make sure we don't remove any important frequencies from the sound. And to turn the sustain slider all the way up. This will prevent the sound's volume from becoming quieter over time. Now it's time for some sound shaping. And the first device in our chain of effects will be a vocoder. The nice thing about the BV512 vocoder that comes with Reason is that the shift knob is not only available in the vocoder but also in equalizer mode. We'll switch to exactly that and turn the shift knob all the way up, drastically changing the character of the sound. Next up is an EQ, which we will use to remove everything at around 400Hz. This might look radical, but we're trying to achieve a fat bass and removing middle frequencies results in exactly that, because removing the lower mids from a harmonically rich patch like this one gives it space and room to breathe. I'll also give the high end a little bit of a lift, just to brighten it up. No Electro House bass would be complete without tape distortion, so let's also throw in an Audiomatic Retro Transformer and set it to tape. I'll turn the transform dial all the way up, because that position allows for almost all the high frequencies to pass through, yet still gives us that nice saturated sound. And this already covers the basic patch. Now, I highly recommend you do additional things to it that will bring out its full potential, such as heavy sidechaining and layering your bass line with a sub bass. Again, a simple sine wave should do quite nicely. Here's a little demonstration of what it could sound like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time.